Chaos 11 Universe at Xander, and welcome back to Pokemon Black. Last time, we beat the Elite Four, and this time, time for the champion. That's it. Is this time for our for our showdown with Alder we've been waiting all game for? It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend Zekrom. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, but part of his sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight with your full strength. I actually kind of like that, that, you know. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokemon. I, 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 thank you. Separating people from Pokemon do anything but that. You and I have both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all of our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. I've been waiting. In the, in the future, I envisioned. You obtained a stone, and indeed you have. The light stone, Zekrom, is responding to it. Stop. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground, rise up the castle of Team Plasma. Surround the Pokemon League. What has just happened, what has just appeared, is Team Plasma's castle. The King's words will now resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokémon will be liberated from people, or whether pe Pokémon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger, and our result will change the world. Mr. Alder. You're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. It did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Uh, I have to congratulate you. I came stronger because I understood what I wanted to do. Xander tell him this. Some po some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I pro are proof. Together we learned and became stronger. I... I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown the, that breath of worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. So, his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The uh, ones who change the world are always those who pursue their dreams. Later, I ask you this. Even if people and Pokemon are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let him know that. voice acting strats there and make them sound defeated. Why not making this voice as strong? I sound more professional. I am far from professional at anything. Those in accord with fate are permanent, preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the truth. If you make a mistake, do not correct it. That is a second mistake. 
Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what we sell. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Gexus's perfect plan. Our lord Anne will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Still standing, are you, Xander? You, your trick fails. Huh, I ain't just me. On my left. So sorry. Not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. Of course, the gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma. That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come. I'm fine, don't worry. No need to worry. Holder of the White Stone, please proceed. Hey, Silent, Chili, Chris. Cool if you guys would show up. I love that the, like, gym leader on their last legs was what we heard. Like, when they sent out their last Pokemon, I'm so glad that's the song that we had playing there. I love that song. Come. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they were healed, it's our Lord End's wish that you be moved to the remotest part of the castle. I am Anthea, trainer. Before you go to come confront my Lord End, please take a moment to rest. Thank you. Ah, oh, good. Both you and your Pokémon regained energy. Trainers battle to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokémon. My Lord End has realized this. Deep down in his heart, he spent too much painful time here in this castle to be admitted. What do you do? I'm Gordia. I get peace and comfort in. Anne's been separated from people since he was young. He's brought up with Pokemon. People Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by people. Gets us deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon to Anne. Anne was touching their touched by their plights, and started pushing his ideals, thinking only of Pokemon. Anne's heart is pure and innocent, but there is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. That is why I didn't use healing items after we beat the final Elite Four member. Then we come in here. Mars. Max Potion up here. hero. It will also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world, where people live with Pokemon. Up we go. That room was the world that was provided for our Lord N. I don't feel anything, even when I go into the room. You may feel something. Basketball looks like it's been used a lot. It says Harmonia on it. A rare candy. It's a set of trains and tracks has been played with recently. This toy set, toy box contains pieces of a train set. Well, 
gun holder of the Lightstone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means Unova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He is accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. Added to all that, his heart burns with the desire to improve the world. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now that the stage is set, we can seize people's potent minds and hearts. We can bring into being the world that I, no Team Plasma, desires. More easily than you can imagine. We and only we will use Pokemon, and we shall rule the power of this populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so that no one could piece together what I planned. Now those painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover what you have, what it takes to be a hero. What I desire is a world for Pokemon and pe Pokemon alone. It will separate Pokemon from people, so Pokemon can regain their original power. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. It will provide the value of my beliefs, even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you're equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination. Well... Just to be safe. this way to battle me, but Reshiram is not responding. You haven't been recognized as the hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling that you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win, or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Zekrom, come to me! Lightstone. It's trembling inside the bag. The Lightstone is... I mean, Reshiram is... The Lightstone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force which is now being released! Zekrom and Reshiram, they were once one life, one Pokemon, complete opposites yet the same. 
Zekrom and Reshiram are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. I see, you really are a hero too. I'll tell you what the Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle with you. Try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you to see if you really are pursuing the strength. Truth, I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Reshiram and make it your ally. So remember when I said I originally had a fifth, a sixth team member plan for this Let's Play that we wouldn't have gotten until very late in the game? Meet that team member. Meet Rush Around. Level 50. Love this song. Sadly, it's probably going to be over pretty soon. Let's get it. That actually worked. That actually worked. Like, I know it has, like, a 45 catch rate, but still, as compared to the three legendaries usually have. Reshiram, the vast white Pokemon! The Pokemon appears in Legends. It sends flames into the air from its tail, burning up everything around it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I feel bad doing this. I really do. But... I'm sorry. I know we spent a whole episode talking about how I was redeeming Adam. N's team is not built for Adam to fight it. I see. Reshiram, who said to lend its power to the hero who searches for truth, has recognized your power, and now agrees to stand by your side. Hold on, your Pokemon is hurt. There is no, no, it's not. I didn't even touch it. There's no triumphs to be gained in battling a weakened opponent. I do appreciate that touch, though. Now I will create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. Face off. So yes, we have Fusion Flare, but here's the thing. If Zekrom uses Fusion Bolt and we're faster than it, it's going to do double the damage it normally would. I'm going for it anyway. Oh, we're fast we're not faster. Oh, this is perfect. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. I should probably mention Zekrom's a electric and dragon type, while Reshiram... Do you really think you could stop us with that? Did do more damage with it. Anyway, um... Zekrom's a electric dragon, while Reshiram is a fire dragon. I absolutely love Reshiram. It is one of my favorite Pokemon, let alone legendaries. Like, it's top three legendaries for me. Like, I know this sounds strange, but it, my three favorite legendary... Oh my god! Well, that's not good. I've never had that happen before. Anyway, um... My three favorite legendaries goes Mewtwo, Zapdos, Rishiram. So Dwayne's actually the hero we needed, apparently. Kling Kling is totally what he's sending out, trust me. Trust me. That's why we're sending out Dwayne. Because Dwayne's a fire or not Dwayne. Um Andros. Andros is a fire type. Kling Kling is just a steel type. Which is why we're doing hammer arm. Because guess what? Kling Kling can't learn Night Slash, but you know what can? 
the Master of Illusion. That has just been one shot. And its name is Zoroark. Bye, Zoroark. Caracosta, okay. Let's get him, Cuddles. We're going to be significantly faster. Is it finally time for the... Is it finally time to tip the scales? Archeops. This is the other fossil Pokemon. Kind of surprised and has both fossil Pokemon, but at the same time I'm not. Well, I'd like to know how he got both fossil Pokemon in one playthrough of the game. And how he got Zoroark in 2020. Right, Icicle Crash has the better accuracy, so let's go for it. It's a flying rock type, so this will be a really good move to use against it. Boom! Wow! I'm on par with N for levels, and, uh, other than Reshiram, he's not had anything touch me. In fact, Charles, my starter, has yet to come out in this battle. I wanted this to be a closer battle, but he just hasn't been. Like, yeah, I get it, I, te I got a Darmanitan, I'm essentially playing easy mode with Darmanitan on my team, still. Now here comes Kling Kling for real. Is this final Pokemon? Yeah. My last friend, please share your courage with me. Here we go. Now it's a fight. Alright. Charles, get out there and finish it. I mean, it's nothing left, really. He can't move, he can't heal it because of that. The, is the world going to choose you and not me? Yep. And you're done. I think that one battle, I think that one Giga Impact from Zekrom was the rest of my bad luck being flushed. Everything's ruined, the ideals I had, the dreams. I didn't get to see the rest of that. Zekrom and I were beaten. Your truth, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, it seems. Reshiram and Zekrom. Each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time? One that pur pursues truth and one that pursues ideals? Could, could they both be right? I don't know. It's not by rejecting different ideas, but by accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction. This is the true this is truly the formula for changing the world. After all of that, do you think you're still worthy of my sharing the name Harmonia with me? You good for nothing boy. To start with, I spurred in into pursuing ideals. The reason we awakened the re legendary Pokémon now was to give my Team Plasma more power. Power to control the fearful masses that at least was not well done. After saying you had put your beliefs on the line and battled to see which one chosen by the legendary Pokémon was the true hero, if you lost to an ordinary trainer. There is such a thing as being stupid. Add it up, and you are nothing more than a warped, defective boy who knows nothing but Pokémon. Xander, I never would have thought the legendary Pokémon would choose a trainer like you. It caught me completely off guard. This doesn't change my goal. My plans have not been disturbed. 
in order to rule this world utterly in order to manipulate hearts. Of people who know nothing, I will have N be the king of Team Plasma, but for that to work, you, since you know the truth, you must be eliminated! Rule the world? Wasn't Team Plasma's goal to liberate Pokémon? That was a, just a convenient lie that I needed to create Team Plasma. Using your head, what's to be gained from letting go of useful things like Pokémon? Certainly manipulating Pokémon has helped helps people expand their possibilities. That much I can agree with. So it naturally follows that only I should be able to use Pokémon. Therefore, that's a ridiculous idea. You can say whatever you want. A Pokémon, even if it's revered, or as a deity, is still just a Pokémon. Xander, so what does it... What if I... So what if it chose you? That doesn't make you a threat. Come now, you'll face me in battle. I can't wait to see the look on your face when you've lost all hope. Xander. No, Xander. I won't allow anyone to stop me no matter who does what. Here we go. Gets us starting over the Cop Agrigus. You gotta be careful about this thing. This thing will do everything on power to hit you in a toxic and stall you out because you're 99.99% of the time gonna be starting with Zekrom or Rushrom. So just be safe. I'm going for Dragon. Yep. He's gonna want you to use up that Flash Fire. Not Flash Fire. Uh, Fusion Bolt or Fusion Flare. So he's used Toxic. Now I'm gonna call it. He's about to try. And I was expecting exactly that kind of. I wasn't gonna do it against his voice there. I'm frustrated. I'll explain why after the battle. See, I've kind of got him figured out. Toxic, of course, is going to slowly wither away on us. But hopefully, if we can get Kafa Grigas out of here ASAP, like that. Bufalon. Okay, let's switch into Andros. Bufalon, it, pretty much every move it's got is going to do recoil damage to it. That's not going to work in your favor, though, because typically if a move requires recoil damage, it's a pretty hard hit. Hopefully we can get lucky here. Okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, God. Critical Elf music. The Bufalon took itself out, and Andros, the absolute unit, hung on with one health. And that made me feel old because I heard the words "absolute unit" come out of my old ma my own mouth, and it did not sound right. We got a Sesmatoad now. I don't really have any grass type ways to deal with this, so what I'm going for is Surf and hoping for the best. Because it doesn't resist it like it normally would. Kind of expected him to set up Earthquake, or not Earthquake, Rain Dance, because it's definitely what his Sesmatoad does. Even when a water type's out, so I don't know what's going on, gets this. He only has the one full restore, and he'll use it on whatever gets to red health first. No, what? No, oh my god, why do I do the things I do? I click slash on accident. Which could very well cost me the fight. Oh no, he finally set up that rain dance, so we might be in a good in a good position now. Because that's gonna boost Surf's power. One more Surf should take him out so long. Not even gonna say it. 
wasn't going to say it. Because I knew it was going to happen if I said it. Because it happened when I said it before. Electrust. This thing is weird. I don't really know the best way to fight it with what I got. If I had Adam, I'd send Adam in and have Adam do Earthquake. But I don't have Adam because I foolishly sent Adam to the PC. I don't know who I should have sent instead. Maybe, maybe Twin would have been a better option. I don't know. Sounds like this. I do wish I had the ground type as I do wish Dwayne had part ground type, but oh well. Like, actually connect, please. Thank you. And that's... Four down? Oh, no! Oh, this is the part I'm not looking forward to, everyone. This is his strongest Pokemon. It's also not a legit Pokemon, because it's not supposed to evolve to level 62. Um, Hydra Gun. You're about to see why I hate it. Pretty much it can do that to everything on my team. I now know from experience. It can do that to essentially everything on the team with each of its attacks. And no, I'm actually not healing up Dwayne, I'm healing up Charles. Charles is the only one that can withstand any of its attacks, from what I've noticed so far. It's got Focus Blast, Fire Blast, Dragon Pulse. Those are the only three moves I've lived long enough to see against it. Twice now. And when I said that critical hit thing, yeah, I fully healed up Charles, and it was my last Pokemon. I said, Charles isn't even going to survive, he's going to get a critical hit. He got a critical hit as I was saying it. And I lost. Again. Yeah, I really don't know how to take this thing out. Being quite honest. It's faster than everything. Andros is at one health. I'm kinda tempted to see if... Andros has never gone one-on-one -on -one with this thing. Maybe Andros can do it. I mean... Focus Blast, Fire Blast, Dragon Pulse. None of those things are super effective, but Dragon Pulse gets stabbed, so that's what worries me. And if I get in there, do I do Thrash? No, I just click this. Oh god, it's got Surf! That's what I, I forgot. No, I forgot something. I forgot I had Surf. That's what I forgot. Dragon Pulse will one-shot rush around even at full health. I found that out the hard way. We're hoping for the best and preparing for the worst, I guess. He's gonna fire blast cuddles. So we're readying the cannon. Wow, I really wish that 20% chance of Fire Blast missing that feels more like a 90% chance would actually work against him for once. He hit Fire Blast every time. I've not seen him miss it once yet. Am I mad? 
berry. God, I want to use Flare Blitz, but I don't think it's going to do enough. Let's go for it. Alright. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh, the thought of recoil just hit my mind. Do 20 damage at most. 20 damage recoil. Oh, okay. My heart is pounding out of my chest. Pounding out of my chest right now. Andros, finish it. Only you have the brains to rule like that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, thank God. I'm actually going to have to edit this episode, though. Overheat? No thanks. It's a special move. I don't need a special move. I want physical moves only on Andros. My calculations know my careful schemes. Can't read the rest of your line. Because you speak to Plasma. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I am absolute perfection. I am perfection! I am the new per I'm the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. Now Ed, do you still think people at Pokemon should be separated? <laughs> Since I couldn't become the hero of Tame, the legendary Pokemon myself, I prepared someone for that purpose. And he's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. Do you think you're going to get through a warped person like that? Alder, it's a waste of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He's the one without a human heart. You're right. He's truly pitiful. And I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you were not pursuing ideals because of Getz's manipulation, but because of your heart, was it really inspired. That is what you were able to beat the legendary Pokemon. But I had no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you're, what you and the legendary Pokemon are going to do from now on, that's important what you say. I feel like you understand. Up till now, we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. Yet, despite that, why? Ed, even though we don't understand each other, that's not a reason to reject each other. There are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought. I want to talk to you about something. It's about when I first met you in Akuma Town. I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because that Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. Understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon that like that. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That's why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon... No, actually, I didn't understand them either. No way I could measure up to you when you had met so many Pokemon and when you were surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me, and what I should do now is something I'll have to decide for myself. Xander? 
You said you have a dream. That dream, make it come true. Make your wonderful dream a reality, and it will become your truth. Xander, if anyone can, it's you. Well done. Farewell. Oh my god! That's it! That's it for the main story, at least. Full thoughts on the project will come at a different time. Wow, my luck sucked this Let's Play, didn't it? You could probably make an hour-long montage of just me going, COME ON! Or, REALLY? Throughout the Let's Play. Well, if someone wants to, feel free. I'm not gonna make anyone. I'm not gonna do it, that's for sure. I'm probably gonna watch all these episodes again. I only watch my Let's Plays once. Anyway, um... That's that. That's Pokemon Black. There's a lot of after game left, and um, I really like N being the rival and the leader of Team Plasma. I like the reveal that gets this as his father. Hmm, excuse me, I just got cold for a second. I like the reveal that gets this as N's father, and um, I can't think of much else to say, honestly. I may shut up and leave you guys with the rest of the credits, but we all know that I don't like to shut up, so probably not. Uh, I'm sorry about this weird aspect ratio going over the screen. I'm not really sure why the bottom screen is appearing bigger than it's supposed to be. They're supposed to be the same size. Um, I'd try and change the setting in 3DS Capture to fix that, but 3DS Capture is entirely in Japanese for me now for some reason. Why? Anyway, um, when we come back tomorrow, we'll be taking on the after game of Pokemon Black and White. Pokemon Black, really. It's just been Pokemon Black. I don't have a copy of White. I've got people with copies of White that I can get to get the version exclusives from and Zekrom and stuff like that. But that's really it. Um, Yeah. So with that, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Black. If you liked the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below to the series so far. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, it's easy, and it helps me out. I'll see you all tomorrow. For the after. Xander out.